transaction she rang up was at 11.20 p.m. on May 26th. There's no sign of stress register, and a car is still in the parking lot. She even knows Amy would not want to keep the sentence officer over to Katie Poyer's home. Her fiancé, Mark Johnson, answers the door. So he has no idea what she is because he assumes she's still on shift. Chief Heaton decides to put out an all-point bulletin on Katie Poyer and launch an extensive ground search. Officers cover the area surrounding the convenience store as well as the nearby streets, Moose Lake State Park, and the Moose Lake itself. In the meantime, Chief Heaton calls DJ and then proceeds to wander around. At 11.38 p.m., the footage shows the same man holding Katie by the throat and forcing her from the store. Knowing that in an abduction... Investigators contact Katie's dentist, Melody Meyer. Dr. Meyer tells police that she'd replaced a billing at Katie's number 18 tooth just two weeks prior to her abduction. Meyer says she used dental cement called Rely... The manufacturers of Rely X are that the cement contains a combination of zirconium and silicone. And finally, they have a piece of evidence connecting Donald Blom. Thanks, Jimmy. What I've been told... When I got the phone call was it was a male wrapped in a blanket on a street, not even a mile from headquarters. Detective David Quinn is a 30-year veteran of the Atlanta Police Department. I mean, I have to say, uh, Downing Street, either uh, again or for the first time, uh, the news conference or highlights of it will be here on Sky News at half past nine this evening. I see. 